before I start this video, I have to say spoiler alert if you didn't watch Diamond is Unbreakable up to episodes 21 and 22. These are the episodes I watched last and I do talk about some things that happen in them in this video, so beware. Hi, if you are new here, I'm Kaniti, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. As some of you know, I'm not watching the second opening of Diamond is Unbreakable right now, because I don't want even like teeny tiny spoilers, but I'm going to listen to the full song, and I'm going to watch a full opening after I think 24th episode, but for now I just want to listen to the full song without visuals. So let's go. It's called Chase. Okay, that was a good time to watch this video because this head looks like what did he call it? Killer Queen's head. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder like whose point of view is this? Hmm. It's interesting. Uh, after watching hmm, the 21st and 22nd episodes just now, I'm thinking like, is this Kira's point of view? Because his quiet life is turning into shambles and so he wants to chase the stand users that are endangering his quiet life the sharpness of a person arrow but he probably had the stand like always hmm yeah. It's a cover though. <laughs> Chasing this directory decided by your tenacity. Yeah, okay, there's hmm. It's interesting. I wouldn't say like I, I preferred the uh, first song of the first opening, and there's not too much like lyrics here to analyze, but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, so there are two ways we can understand this, and I think it's really interesting. It's either our side, like good side. Oh, it's interesting that even uh, in the background they have this peace sign, sign sometimes appearing. Like, yeah, uh, either it's Joska's side, peace sign, uh, chasing uh, Kira, uh, that killer that is endangering the quiet life of the entire town. Like, it can't be quiet life in this town. In, it's crazy, noisy, bizarre town, though, but you get it. It can't be a safe life when the serial killer is on the loose so but yeah kira in his eyes he is also living this quiet life his own life and he doesn't care that he kills some person um some people with this but it's interesting though because it was said Raimi said that he killed boys and girls and he seems to be interested only in girls he wants women's hand so why did he kill boys okay with shigechi it was understandable but it looks like nobody before shigechi managed to come this close to uncovering his secret he even stated himself that for 15 years 
he went completely undiscovered and nobody could like guess or tell anything so with Shigechi it was a special case with Raimi's parents I'm not really sure if this was his first killing maybe his intentions were a bit different but for now it looks like he's only killing women to get himself a partner and he has to kill a new one every time the hand rots but what about the boys Raimi um, tell that the boys are dying too so maybe there was some situation uh, where he had to kill them like to get to the woman he had to kill two people or maybe something like that I'm not sure I have to put a spoiler warning in the beginning of this video because I'm talking a lot um, about these episodes okay I also want to listen to the ending song because I think it's just fantastically beautiful and it's also a song I want you by Savage Garden and I have an official video here with the music I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play this music in my video I think it should be fine but I feel the lyrics are just so beautiful and I'm just not sure how do they reflect this season, this part, what's happening in it? What is it talking about? Maybe it doesn't have any correlation. Maybe it's just a beautiful song in the end. But it's just in the previous endings and openings, I always felt like real lyrics meant something. But... I'm not sure what this lyrics of the ending could mean. So if you have any ideas, share them. But it's just so beautiful. The official video is quite interesting. Uh, should I say, I really like the visuals in the ending itself. Uh, in Diamond is Unbreakable. The style of it is very interesting. Oh, that's the best part, I think. I don't know. And there's also the lines that puzzle me most of all. Uh, can they be applied to what is happening in this part? Or am I just trying to analyze everything too much? It's said it doesn't have the lyrics here though. It's interesting that in the description there are lyrics and only this part that I can hear most clearly is written. <laughs> okay. I wonder what is going on in this official video. I can't tell. Well, music videos are often very bizarre. Yeah, a nice world. <laughs> it's interesting also, like how Araki Sensei is inspired by music because he uses a lot of music references in his manga, and music is a very bizarre thing. Even some songs. They sound. They have bizarre lyrics, or these um, music videos where you can't really say what's going on. It's a very interesting thing. Okay, I think that's it. 
if you also like to analyze everything like I do, then share your thoughts what these lyrics of opening and the ending could mean um, in your opinion. So without spoilers, of course, obviously, that would be it for today. Thank you for watching and see ya! Thank you.